Shalom, Christopher Enoch here. Why should we focus on first century Christianity? Why should we put so much emphasis on first century doctrine and practice? Look at it like this. Look at it like a stream, like a river. As you go way upstream, as you go way back to the source, you will find water that is much more pure, much more pure than that which is downstream. As the water flows downstream, it collects dirt, filth, pollution. It becomes corrupted. So we need to go back to the source. We find this principle throughout Scripture. Consider, for example, in the days of Moses. Moses was like the source. He led the people of Israel up out of Egypt. He led them into the wilderness, heading towards the promised land. But he went up the mountain shortly after he, shortly after the Exodus. He went up the mountain. Moses left the people. Okay, forty days later, only forty days later, he came back down the mountain and he found the people of Israel to be thoroughly corrupted, thoroughly corrupted. How long did it take for them to get corrupted? I mean, how long did it take for them to even start to wander from the real, true way, from the real, true doctrine? It's only our speculation. You can say, well, you know, obviously it took him, he, they were completely corrupted, you know, in 40 days. Perhaps they, it started the first day, the second day. Perhaps it started within hours, maybe, maybe even within minutes after Moses left the scene. You know, probably they probably thought, well, we got a better way. We got a new way. We got a, you know, we got a, something new, something, you know, we got more revelation. Uh, you know, we're, we're progressing here, you know. So the idea is here is that it didn't take long after Moses left the scene for the people to become corrupt. Now, we know that after Moses died, Joshua succeeded him. Joshua took Moses' place. Joshua was pretty good. He led the people in, uh, of, of Israel into the promised land, and they were doing fairly well under his rule. But after Joshua died, again, Joshua is like a source. After he died, the people went corrupt very quickly. After the days of Joshua, they fell away from the Lord, they fell into great sin, and they were kind of back and forth with the Lord for many, many, many years. They should have stayed, you know, they should have stayed upstream, so to speak. They should have stayed with the ways, the doctrine, the practices of Joshua. Look at a, another example is uh, Noah, um, in the days of Noah, in the days of the flood. Okay, we know that God sent the flood to destroy all these wicked people. And amongst all the people that were destroyed in the flood, only Noah, his wife, and his sons, and their wives, only eight people in total, were considered to be righteous enough to be saved, worthy enough to be saved. Now, after they died, it didn't take very long before Sodom and Gomorrah. So the point is, how long did it take to become corrupt after Jesus and the original disciples left the scene? How long did it take them for the, the church, so to speak, to become corrupt? If you study first century Christianity doctrine and practice, you'll find it is much different than even just a couple hundred years later. So we now, we stand at, you know, we stand, we're way downstream from first century doctrine and practice, first century Christianity. We need to go back to first century Christianity. We need to, as if it were, take our buckets, take our pails, take our, you know, take our pipeline if we can, and get that pure, holy, unpolluted water again from first century Christianity, back where the stream was pure, okay? That is the reason why 
I put so much focus on first century Christianity. That is the reason why we should emphasize within our own personal life and within our church, we should emphasize first century doc- doctrine and first century practice. And the more you learn about it, the more you, you'll see how much removed, how far removed we are today from first century Christianity. So go back to the source, go back to the pure waters. And as, as you do, you will be extremely blessed. You will be, your faith will be strengthened and, uh, and God's presence and glory will be with you as it was in the days of the book of Acts and shortly thereafter in the first century Christianity. Keep your focus there. Let's go back to the source. Let's draw from the waters, the pure waters. Once again, like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you very much.